Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici, I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video we are covering new topics added to the CCNA course 200-125 and this is section 4.7 SNMP. Upon completion of this section you should be able to configure SNMP to monitor network operation in a small to medium sized business network. Introduction to SNMP. Simple network management protocol SNMP was developed to allow administrators to manage nodes such as servers, workstations, routers, switches and security appliances on an IP network. SNMP is an application layer protocol that provides a message format for the communication between the managers and agents. SNMP system consists of three elements SNMP manager, SNMP agents, managed nodes and management information base. So we have these agents, they run on the managed nodes. So we have an agent who's going to run on all managed nodes and build this management information base. Now, the SNMP manager can pull that, that management information base with the messages like get and set. For example, uh, say that the SNMP manager is running, SNMP agent is running on this managed node here, this firewall. And SNMP agent on the background is going to build this base, management information base, with all the status, everything, all the variable on that router. And then the SNMP manager will use messages like get, for example, like get the status of such such interface. And then after it gets that message, it will say something like set. Maybe if it gets like interfaces administratively down, it can use messages like set the interface up. Then we have another type of message which is trap. Now trap messages come unsolicited from the from the agent. They come it sends a trap message for a, some kind of error condition. It will send the trap automatically. Now SNMP uses unreliable protocol UDP and the port number 162. So these are SNMP process. For example, we get get request retrieves a value of the specific management information base variable. You see the agent, this is the router for example, that's a managed node. And the agent runs on the router and looks at everything that's going on about the router and it builds this management information, uh, information base. And then the manager will send like get request to get some kind of variable from that base. And then set variable, change the variables. And then the trap, like I said, is transmit unsolicited alarm condition. We have three versions of SNMP. So version one introduced five messages types like get request, get next request, set request, get response and trap. This version is rarely used nowadays. And we have version two, which introduced two new messages to speed up the process. You can get bulk requests to pull large amounts of data, inform request, a type of trap with expected acknowledgement on receipt, Version 2 added 64 bit counters to accommodate faster network interfaces. Added the complexity security model, which never widely accepted. Version 2C based, uh, is community based SNMP version 2, is wide accepted, and this is most popular now with, uh, in the companies. The version 3 is the best, but not all the devices that support version 3. Uh, version 2 is, is used quite a lot. And community-based version is SNMP is very unsecure. Now, if your device does support version 3, you should be moving from version 2C to version 3 immediately. Because this method ensures to the secure transmission of critical data between the manager and agents were added. So SNMP v3 security supports the following three levels of security. No auth, no priv. So here we use a username match for authentication and we don't have any privacy, privacy so and no encryption. Auth, no priv, so authentication is based in hashed message authentication code, HMAC, MD5, or secure hash, SHA, but no encryption is provided, so no privacy. Auth, priv, in addition to authentication, provides DES 56-bit encryption based on the cipher block chaining, CBC, DES 56 standard. So we are providing the authentication as well as privacy. SNMP v3 configuration steps. So a global configuration command, you start with SNMP hyphen server group 
group 1, version 3, authentication, auth, access admin. So configure the SNMP server group to enable authentication for members of specific named ACL or access list. Access list is admin. In this example, the SNMP server group, group 1, is configured to enable user authentication for members of the named access list admin. And then we go and create the standard ACL, the standard named ACL, IP access hyphen list standard admin and permit 192.168.1.0.000255. So we configure an ACL that will permit access to authorized SNMP managers. Then SNMP hyphen server user, user one group one, version three authentication MD5 password. We add a new user to a group SNMP version three group. Show SNMP group to verify, which this will display the information about each SNMP group in the network. Then we have show SNMP user and whatever the user in question display information information about configured characteristics of SNMP user. Uh, for example, here in username we put user one. Thank you very much for watching. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye bye.